Here are three common energy-based explosives. Notice they're all organic chemicals based on carbon and they have several other things in common too. For example, they're full of oxygen. Oxygen oxidizes the organic chemicals uh, to aid the combustion of these explosives. And nitrogen, lots of nitrogen. Because when they explode, the nitrogen produces a triple bond and that releases a lot of energy. And these explosives have thousands of kilojoules per mole of energy. Sidebar, why is it when you go to the airport you have to throw your liquids away? And if the liquids are so dangerous, why do they store them near where the people work? Well, if you know what you're doing, you can turn these innocuous household liquids into an explosive called TATP. It's a triangular shaped molecule. And when it explodes, it produces three propanones and some ozone. How much energy does that produce? Well, I couldn't find it on the internet, so I did a bond energy calculation. Breaking the red bonds and then making the green bonds gives me a very small, approximately minus 560 kilojoules per mole, a lot less energy than most explosives. Also, you're producing oxygen and no carbon dioxide, nitrogen or water. So why is it so dangerous? The reason is, is because it is an entropy explosive. Even though a lot of energy isn't released, a lot of entropy is released, so to speak, because lots of gas comes out.